What's good? It's your boy Hurricane giving you some news. Now this news came out last month. And uh, you're going to hear this clip and then we're going to get off into this shit. Because this shit led me off into a whole nother direction. Just say no to menthol cigarettes. Those flavored cigarettes may be banned here in California and across the country. Now, as Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell tells us, the state is looking to make them illegal in anticipation of a federal ban. Four years anti-tobacco. Federal ban. Yeah. First little small connection. Remember they banned motherfucking alcohol during the prohibition. <laughs> Y'all remember that? It was argued black Americans have been disproportionately targeted by the menthol industry and President Biden is preparing to do something about it. As part of Biden's efforts to reduce health disparities highlighted by the pandemic, the FDA is expected to ban... Why they gotta put the Resident Evil incident with it? What does that have to do with it? menthol cigarettes and cigars, which is preferred by 85% of black cigarette smokers. If the FDA really acts and takes these products... Let's go back to that again. The FDA is expected to ban menthol cigarettes and cigars, which is preferred by 85% of black cigarette smokers. If the FDA really acts and takes these products off the market, it'll be real hard to have a black market because they won't be being manufactured anymore. Black people aren't manufacturing, just like we don't manufacture bullets. We don't manufacture cigarettes either, but they're all over our community. And tobacco use is the number one cause of preventable death among black Americans, responsible for 45,000 deaths a year, according to the CDC. 45,000 coming every day. Another 45,000 coming every day. Don't fear the reaper. <laughs> Y'all remember that. C. In a statement, Governor Newsom said, I urge the federal government to follow California's leadership to protect public health and advance racial equity by moving to ban menthol-flavored cigarettes. But the ACLU and some racial justice advocates are concerned a ban will make black Americans targets. Make black Americans targets. Hmm, really? Menthol smoker and activist James Brown of South LA says a ban is not the answer. We already target this anyway based on the color of our skin. James Brown from South LA. James Brown rhymes with Jamestown. Jamestown, Virginia? What? Hmm. Holy shit, I'm going back in time. Now, with us smoking menthol and that becoming a ban, that give police more probable cause to come to target us. But those in favor of the ban include... They cut that nigga. ...including the American Lung Association say it will save lives. The industry has raised racist... Bitch, I'm saving lives. <laughs> really? ...profiled profiled us, and now they're flipping the script and saying to take these products off would be racist, when in fact what the racism was was that initial targeting and the, and the pernicious way that they did it. Obviously, we have some serious issues in our country, and so we've seen that no more evidence than this painful past year. Oh. This painful past year, why you got to bring up the Resident Evil stuff, and y'all talking about cigarettes. What does that have to do? Okay, so y'all saying just because of the Resident Evil stuff, we, we started smoking more? When y'all just showed the statistics on 45,000 coming every day. I mean, every year, <laughs> don't fear the reaper, and oh. <laughs> ban on menthol cigarettes doesn't require congressional approval, but the well-funded tobacco industry has sued the FDA for years over anti-cigarette policy, and they will likely do so again. Now, let's get off into this. When I was doing the research on this, The spirit led me to the tobacco war. It was like just something. Oh, well, look, shout out to the homeboy at the bus stop. I'm gonna give him a shout out now. I've got to do nothing, but I'm gonna give him a shout out because he reminded me of this shit. 
because I um I walked up with a block of mile and he was like, yo, dog, are you ready for this ban on the motherfucking cigarettes and the motherfucking guards and the menthol and all that shit? I was like, hell yeah, I'm ready for this shit. But um we talked more about it and it gave me the inspiration to do this video. Now, I did not know that I was going to, to, to even go back in time on this. The tobacco war was in 1780. It was part of the Revolutionary War. And at that time, the president was George Washington. Now, what was going on in 1780 was um, the British wanted to motherfucking um, fuck up the southern colonists and their tobacco trade because it was funding their war effort and shit. So like the British wanted to fuck up that nigga like they destroyed a lot of shit. And I was like, who was the the fucking king of the Britain at the time? King motherfucking George the <laughs> Third. Or y'all didn't know him as King fucking George. I'm like, I'm tired of hearing that son of a bitch name. <laughs> that nigga King George. That nigga been I think he was running shit from shit. From the 1700s to the 18s, shit, fuck it. I think 1780 to 1820 or whatever. I'm not really sure. I don't know how long his reign was. I know 1780 to 1820, I, like I guess. I'm like, shit, nigga. I might be wrong. But, um, but that was the shit that was going on. The British wanted to fuck up the English colonists in the South. So, comparing that to this shit. The FDA battle with the companies. And we got back in the day, the British battling with the English colonists. So, I'm like, damn. There's more to this. Who bought this tobacco shit over here in the first place? It was a man named John Rolfe. R-O-L-F-E. This motherfucker came around like 1609, 1610. And um, he was very successful at the motherfucker tobacco shit. He had successful exports. They came over here expecting the motherfucker to find some gold and shit. And realized tobacco is that brown gold, nigga. Got a lot of land here to grow. Shit. Nigga, we about to make break. So it was like, where the fuck did he get the motherfucking shit from? So, some sources say he got it from the motherfucking Caribbean. And he said he had some successful motherfucking export shit over there also. And there was a lot of shit going on with trade routes during the Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken. I need to go back to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I talk about the pirates and shit. Blackbeard and the niggas. They made Blackbeard out as a bad guy, man. But that nigga was one of the realest motherfucking pirates ever. If the nigga was real. But, uh... <laughs> Y'all let me know if Blackbeard was real in the comments. I won't be surprised if Blackbeard was a black man with a black beard. <laughs> but, uh... John Rolfe is the nigga that really married Pocahontas. So I'm like, God damn, this shit went from a tobacco ban in America to the Tobacco War of 1780 to a man named John Wolfe marrying Pocahontas. Pocahontas come from the Powhatan people. So and I, I bet you're wondering, wait a minute. So who the fuck is John Smith? John Smith was a liar and a murderer. He made up all the motherfucking Pocahontas stories to make himself look good. The incident where 
Pocahontas supposed to have saved them. That did not fucking happen. John Smith came to this bitch and got captured and was paraded around like a motherfucking a fucking Christmas ornament to every village. So look at this bitch ass nigga that we caught. <laughs> I think it was the chief's mercy to let that motherfucker go. Pocahontas found out about the shit that he did too. Cause like she really thought that nigga was dead. But like nigga look 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 fuck it. Look at the real story of Pocahontas because that's a whole nother motherfucking video within itself. Real shit. Now back to the video of the band where they keep on mentioning black people being targeted. What's the connection of black people being targeted and from back in the day with the Powhatan people? The Powhatan people were slaughtered by John Smith. That's what the fuck connection is. If black people was a target, guess what? The natives was a target too. By the same motherfucker that's trying to ban the shit. It's crazy. John Smith was a liar. John Wolf married Pocahontas to, to make a... um. Um, a truce with the colonists because when Pocahontas was captured she went through hoo -wee, went through some shit she had, oh yeah she also had a husband that died trying to save her too they lit that nigga up like a set it off movie night after night blam 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 but he took some motherfuckers out on his way to save her though you know that was Courage and heroics. Damn, I said that wrong. Heroic. Yeah, there we go. Heroics. <laughs> Courage. Determination, but got shot down. Can't bring an arrow to a gunfight. Now, but he took out some motherfuckers. I think his name was Cacrone. Cacrone. I know it started with a K. But, um,. This video led back to the slaughter of the indigenous culture of the Powhatan people. And it seems like it's going to be something going on with black people being targeted again. We got a lot of protesting going on about this situation. But I also want to reference the movie Demolition Man also from My Matrix vs. Reality Part 10. They really trying to ban everything. Freedom of speech, gone. You can't smoke a cigarette or a blunt to get over your stress, gone. Now, I want to give y'all a quick solution. Alright? A quick solution. Real easy solutions here. When it comes to this ban in America. In conclusion. The solutions is this. They're not banning Jamaican leaves. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! It may cost a little more to buy, but they're not bad at Jamaican leaves, so I think you're good. And I don't, um, I don't think they're banning joint papers. You might go back to Woodstock. Who knows? <laughs> and another solution is if you come across some tobacco, learn how to use it the ways of the ancient native people. Because the tobacco that is being used now is not good for you. It says it on a box. Warning. It may cause cancer. But the ancient natives used tobacco for other purposes. Proper purposes. So, I just wanted to just give y'all some news and a little history lesson. Look up the history of Pocahontas and look at what's really going on with this smoking ban. So this your boy Hurricane. Peace!